currently in Brasov. We're here for one hour and I've left the tour group because I wanted to come and explore the Black Church. Now it was built between 1385 and 1477. But why is it called Black Church? Well, that's because the smoke blackened walls resulting from a 1689 fire. And it's a beautiful example of Gothic architecture. Now this church is huge. It's 90 meters long, 25 to 37 meters wide, and 65 meters tall. And it has a capacity of up to 5,000 people. Let's go inside. Fingers crossed they're open. To get in, this is the entrance, and just across it is the ticket shop and gift shop. So it costs 15 lek, which is what, what, three pounds to get inside. Let's go. After a few minutes of exploring, I met Raul. Hello, my name is Raul. I am a volunteering guide at the Black Church. And uh, my favorite artifact here are the Ottoman carpets. They are so important to the Black Church because they symbolize the power and uh, the riches of the city. They were brought by the merchants from all over the Middle East, from the Ottoman Empire, and uh, gifted to the church. As a, as a show of the, the power of the people in Brasov. Brasov was a, a commercial city, like a big market of, the, of Transylvania. We have one of the rarest carpets in the, in the whole country and the, the biggest collection in the whole Europe. I've noticed there's a lot of these paintings with crests along the sides of the pews. What's the purpose? Because Brasov was a, a commercial city, it didn't have an army, so the people in Brasov were, were um, organized in guilds that protected um, a very specific part of the city. And that's the, uh, the way they would sit in the church too. From the most important, they would be the politicians over there, to the teachers, that would be the second most important over here, to the soap makers who were the least, Im the least important, who would sit in the corner of the church. And these paintings are the symbols of the different guilds. For example, over here we have uh, the guild of the clothes maker because we have the, the thread and the needle. And how old are they? They are uh, from different periods, but uh, they are in the black church um, from the 17th century. The contrast in the architecture from the interior versus the exterior is quite striking. How old are these doors? Doors are um, brought in the when the church was rebuilt in the 1700s, because the church burned in the in uh, 1689. And that's where we get the name Black Church. Yeah, exactly. And that's why we have a difference uh, in the architecture. On the outside, we have uh, Gothic style. And the interior is in a Baroque style. We have a newer painting, but it's very important for the story of the Black Church, because it tells us how the Black Church became from Catholic to Evangelic. So in the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church all over the world was abusive towards the people. They used to request money for forgiving, for forgiving sins and uh, they would write the Bible in Latin so no one could read it except the priests. And the priests could uh, even lie to the people sometimes. Martin Luther didn't find that right. He was a Catholic priest and when he read the Bible, he found that the Bible actually uh, condemns that and says that, it, that it's wrong. So he said that openly and because he, he dared to uh, talk against the Catholic Church, they started following him to hunt him down uh, in a period of around seven years. That's when he wrote the Bible in, from Latin to German and uh, one of the copies was sent to Romania to the man sitting down dressed in all black and his name was Johannes Sonterus. He was a friend of Martin Luther's and uh, he reformed the, the whole uh, countryside, the whole Transylvania. Here we have the course of the church. It was the first part that was built during the building of the church. They began with the chorus. They brought uh, builders from Germany and uh, that's why the, this part of the church is identical with St. Sebaldus Church in uh, Nuremberg. 
here is the, the painting I was talking about. So here was the old entrance in the church. People would enter uh, by this in the, from this gate, and the first thing they would see is the Black Madonna. The legend has it that the Black Madonna started crying, the painting started crying after the, the church burned down, and uh, the sky was originally uh, blue with uh, Saint Mary in the middle clothes, and uh, they became black as a sign of mourning, as a sign of sadness. Here we can see Saint Mary in the middle with baby Jesus in her arms, um, Saint Catherine and Saint Barbara in the left and the right, each one of them holding the signs of the ways they were killed. One of them was kept in a tower to, till her death and the other one was decapitated and that's why we have the sword next to her. This painting was uh, painted during the life of Matei Corvin, he was the king of Hungary at the time because over here we have his uh, symbol and uh, in the right corner we have his wife symbol Elena of, on, uh, of Aragon. Behind me we have the organ of the church. It's the biggest in the whole country, the biggest in Romania. It was um, made in Germany but built here in the black church, right where it is right now. It was brought here in the 1800s and uh, it has over 4,000 tubes. Originally you needed six people to play it, but uh, now we only need three because the three people that, you, that had to blow air inside the, the tubes are now replaced by a mechanical system. You need two people to change the registers and one organist that plays at four rows of keys. So here we have the tombstones of the nobility in Brasov. These ones were uh, the tombstones of priests among the most important people in Brasov. They were very uh, rich, as we can see from their clothing and the way they were dressed. The, the tombstones themselves tell the story. Over here we can see the stories of their lives, dates, names, and uh, things they did during their life. Uh, but uh, they are written in Latin. We have three signs to tell that they are priests. One of them is that the tombstone is written in Latin. The second one is uh, the way they dressed. And the third one is the, the way the tombstones look like. Over here we have simpler tombstones. They were from the rich people in, uh, in Brasov that paid to be buried here in the black church and these ones are written in German or in Hungarian because at the time the Romanian people didn't have any political rights so they would live outside the city. There was actually only one Romanian uh, merchant that lived in the city and today in his house we have a museum.